Hey everybody, um, welcome to my latest review. I haven't done one of these in a while and it's because I moved. And um, so if you're used to seeing my reviews, you know that this is not the same room that I usually record in. Um, I've got a new collection and I'm definitely going to do a collection update soon. But um, I'm waiting on a few more pieces to come in before I do that. So I did just get this guy in though. This is uh, the Justice League Aquaman. So... I'd like to excuse my dog barking. He's just a brat. Um, but so I'd like to go over my thoughts on this figure. And um, real quick, because I've decided to uh, make clear at the beginning of my videos, I'm not a super technical guy. I usually review things based on how they fit into my collection. Um, I wanted to give you some natural light. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing it in this room. As I'm looking at the camera, I feel like there's a lot of hard light hitting him. So I'm going to see if that's better. Might be a little better. Um, all right. So I've got him on a tripod. So excuse any difficulties. Usually I hold the camera, but right now I'm doing it a bit different. Here's a good look at him. Now, as I was handling him, I felt like there were all sorts of flakes coming off of him. And usually that means like a terrible thing when it comes to Hot Toys. Um, it's just like this gold feels like it chips easily. Um, nothing, nothing on my fingers right now. But I did have like a crumb, like a gold piece crumb right in, in this little uh, crevice here. And so I had to pull that out with my fingernail. And like if you can see, he's got like a little dot there. Which is just, it's like gunk. Um, like you could probably get it out with tweezers, but you don't want to accidentally mark up. Yeah, see, it's it's out now. So there's a, there was a lot of that kind of stuff. I wouldn't say a lot. There was like two pieces, and that's a lot, because you usually don't have to deal with that kind of thing. Um, all right, so got it. The one thing, looking right at him, if you can see this, he's got a really weird hair um, crease here, which is obviously where they connected the long hair. Um, I'm not holding it against them, but it is a bit unsightly anytime you look at it up close. He definitely has that. Um, so just some of my thoughts right off the bat with this figure. His arms don't sit at his sides properly. So you can't can't bring it in. Now you can turn it. Here's an interesting thing. This armor here looks like it could have easily been a separate piece. Sometimes you see that with Hot Toys. If there's armor, they'll put like an armor sleeve. So basically what you're seeing here is like a vest, right? And then the arms come out. So what I'm saying is basically... I expected it to be the same thing with the arm, which is this would be the vest, and then you'd have another piece of armor coming out, and this is where the joint would be. Even if it was exposed, it would sort of still be covered, and you know you wouldn't see it in that position. Instead, it's like a, it's like a flexible material, and this piece feels different to this, but this is like very light and flexible right here, and um, you know when he bends it, it's smushy. And I just thought that that was an odd choice because I don't think I would have minded a joint there or at least to separate them because what I've got here is if, like, you see how, since his arms don't sit at the sides, maybe you'd rather turn it in because when you turn it in, and I do this with a lot of figures, if you turn this arm in, which this can't do, you show off a little more of the tricep. And when you show off the tricep, it makes the arms look a little bigger and stronger and it gives you, like, um... It looks like he's carrying the weight in his arms a little bit better. I, I prefer to pose him that way. Uh, you can't do that with this figure. So it's either 90 degree or outwards at a 45. And you can go up like that. Um, I will say that these shoulder pieces are pretty nice in, in terms of their articulation. Allowing you to come up. That's as far as that will go there. And uh, you can like push it up against it like that if you want. Um, 
So that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't really have a lot of problems with the articulation, to be honest. I expected this to be um, like a Arkham Batman figure, where he doesn't do anything but put his arms down. So the fact that he can even hold his uh, trident, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, and he looks pretty cool right there. If you can't tell, I'm on the side of the camera. Uh, so, you know, I apologize if this is terrible. I won't know until after I do it. <laughs> um, I'm trying a new thing. So, let's talk about the head sculpt. I feel like the likeness is definitely there. But a lot of people will say that it, I, I've seen people say that it doesn't look anything like him. And I will just say that he has a very caveman face. And this figure has that, especially this, uh, the eyebrow ridge, the heavy, heavy eyebrow ridge. See how far that comes out? Like that's, you know, you can't fault them for that. Um, but he is, he is uh, stylized a bit and made to look a little prettier than he really is. Having said that, I think it's unmistakably Jason Momoa. Um... Could it be better? Probably. Does it really matter? I think for the character of Aquaman, I think I think the sculpt is plenty good enough. Like people will know who he is because of the long hair and the beard and the eyebrow ridge. And um, you know, if he's if he looks like Aquaman with the trident, they're going to recognize him. And uh, that might sound like I'm giving it a bit of a pass, but I mean, if if I had to grade it, I would give it like an A minus, not an A plus. You know, even a, even a B plus, like B plus is is not okay, but I mean, it's not like it's blatantly not him. So I don't really see where a lot of the criticism comes from. I see the stylization and the softening of some of his features. That's that's definitely accurate. But look, look at think of all the figures that have come out lately with beards and it, their upper lip looks like a tongue sticking out. He doesn't even have that problem. Like they actually did that part right. So. I think I think there's a lot to be pleased about here. Um, sorry. All right. So the other thing I believe that is different from the prototype is this uh, chest articulation here. That's cool. I mean, for his chest to go up like that, I don't know because I don't want to expose this gap here too much. So I guess it's cool that he's sort of like I don't know. On camera, it doesn't look doesn't look as majestic but here in person having him um, sort of arch up like that actually looks a bit better yeah I have my display on behind me maybe that maybe I should turn that off just because there's the backgrounds lighter than the figure see if that helps that help out um yeah but at the same time it makes this gap more apparent so if you bring it back down now he looks like he's leaning forward that's not bad i'm struggling with the stand and this is mainly because One second. This is mainly because Jesus, he's uh, a bit tall, and the trident is really long, like longer. I, I don't know if it's inaccurate, but obviously in real life it's not such a big deal. But it doesn't because the stand is on a ramp. If, if you could see, it's on a it's on a slope, which means that the trident being held out in front of him doesn't reach properly so so that's kind of weird um, so what do you do um, well I'll tell you I'll tell you when I try to put him in the detail I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do um, but overall like let, let's be honest is it the greatest figure no but it does complete a collection now if you wanted 
to get the uh, movie version with the bright orange, or I would say it's more yellow than anything, you certainly can. And that has a different stand and a uh, different trident, I believe, and all that's great. I don't like that bright color. I think it looks bad. It may be Jason Momoa, like it doesn't look well on him. He's too big. And then it, because it's so bright, he just looks like a big piece of corn to me. Um, and I would w wish that this armor was a little more orange instead of like green gold. I wouldn't mind like a deep orange. Um, having said that, I think aside from the only reason I wanted orange is because I wanted him to have his own like distinct color among the Justice League. And right now it's like a weird green gold and, um, you know, orange really sets him apart. Like Aquaman always looks different in comics. So that's the only reason I'm saying I, I would have preferred some orange, but I think that this design looks fantastic to be completely honest. And, um, you know, it was a no brainer to me, which one I was going to get. He probably looks great right now, but you should know like his, his trident is not touching anything. So that's not okay to me because it, then it looks like a toy. So I, I want his weight to look like it's like he's putting his weight down. Um, he came with very, very few hands. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I do now. You guys are getting a quick look at my room. Um, okay. So here's how I've been running it. So when I moved, I bought these. Well, I, I had these before, but I didn't really use them properly. These are meant to be like you hang them on a wall and you can put screws and whatnot into them. They're like for maintenance. I bought them on Amazon. Um, they're just like little toolboxes, organizer for your garage. So you can fit stuff in there. So I've, you know, I've got his stuff in here. This is what he came with. He came with some hand pegs. He came with two fists, two uh, relaxed hands, and two gripping hands. So I've got one relaxed hand and one grip hand over there. And um, I, I would expect at least one extended hand. You know, it's kind of odd to me that I didn't get that considering how bare bones this really is and he got the trident and then he has that mother box and uh to be completely honest with you the mother box is heavy and then i just i slide him uh right into that drawer and close the door it's actually a really nice system which i'll uh explain a little bit more when i do my collection update how i do that but um I, i'm really happy with that because uh, and you're probably like well what do you do with the box i throw boxes away like this one's sitting here right now i'm gonna get rid of it <laughs> um, I don't throw them all away but like for ones like this am I gonna keep a whole box for this for this mother box and for some hands like I don't think so um, and I know you guys struggle with space I mean everyone does when it comes to these things and yeah like look at how many figures I have and there's another you can see the light reflection there's another one behind me so um, I'm not keeping a box like that for this. Now, it might hurt the resale value. In my experience, sorry about the shaking, I'm just fixing this tripod. Um, in my experience, when I resell figures without a box, I, I have to sell it for like $20 to $30 less. But if you, you know, if you don't care, which I don't, um, only because I don't, I don't sell things a lot, like I buy a lot, and occasionally I do end up upgrading and whatnot. Um, but for the most part, like I, I keep what I buy. So for me to like take a third twenty to thirty dollar hit, uh, at least I didn't have to keep the box, <laughs> you know. Um, so it just depends. And like, so you're thinking, well, if you sell this, what are you gonna do with this trident here? I kept the packaging that the trident comes in. Um, but I, so when I if I sell it, I'll put that in the packaging. I'll wrap him up good and put it all in a box together and ship it that way. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm not losing any sleep over it. Um, I just got Black Widow from a, uh, a fellow collector on Sacho Freaks. And um, I bought the Captain America. His head is actually out being painted by another fellow collector. Um, but I threw those boxes away. <laughs> like, they're already gone. Um, anyway, so this mother box is really heavy. Uh, I shouldn't say really heavy, but it's heavier than it looks. You, you expect it to be like hollow plastic. It's heavier plastic. Um, here's the thing. I don't care. And I'm a little annoyed because now that I don't have the box, it's like, what do I do with this stupid mother box? <laughs> or cube, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll never dis display him with this. This is nothing. Like, it's a box. 
So I guess kudos to them for including it. I would rather have the extended palms than this, to be completely honest with you. Um, okay, let's let's go in a little closer on his head here. Just give him one last look before I go uh, putting him in the detail. He's missing that savageness. Like if you look at if you watch him on Game of Thrones, it's called Drogo. He he looks more savage, and here he looks more pretty and you know, I think his skin tone is probably a bit darker in real life, but you've even got these birthmarks, which I assume are accurate, and not that mine is defective. Um, I assume that's on his face. I think it is. I don't know his face that well, but, you know, can you get mad at this? I just, I worry a little bit about this hand and what to do with it. Does that look better? Um, you can turn this a little bit at an angle to at least turn his arm inwards, even though the, the top part of the arm doesn't move that way. Um, I should also note, so he's got this crotch piece. That's cool. This pants is like more uh, flexible. Um, I don't know what material to call it. I want to say leather, but it's not leather, obviously. But it feels like it, like a lighter leather. And uh, the reason I say that is because I wonder if this might be prone to cracking. I don't really live in one of those areas where that happens, but um, you know, if you do, I would I would be careful about that. Um, let me show you some of the articulation there because it does bunch up. Sorry, this this if anyone knows a good tripod, like let me know because every tripod I buy is just like it, it's always it always has like a loose piece to it that kind of ruins the whole point of it. Like right now, if I don't hold this side, it tilts downward. Okay. So I can see what I'm doing here. All right, so here is some of the articulation. See that? Now, if you leave it like that, and you have, you have a tendency to crack or possibly stick together, like if it's very hot or humid. I could see that happening when you like bring it back out. That part worries me a bit. Also down here, if you guys can see that, it doesn't look very, um, yeah, it's like pulling apart. You know, I'm trying to go carefully, but it's clearly not meant to go that far, but that's impressive that it can't even go this far. Um, but still, be careful. Be very careful with that. And see, now I've got a little bit of bunching, but I'm sure that'll be fine. That should bounce back. I didn't do it for too long. Um, the knees are covered in armor, so you shouldn't see the bunching up that occurs. I mean, there's a tiny bit right there. Um, but yeah, let's see. So, here's what I'm going to do. I it doesn't fit in a detolf with this with the trident. And to be honest, this crotch crotch grabber doesn't really hold it well either. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to point you to cuz this is all my marble stuff. All this stuff here is marble. Um and here is the DC slash Star Wars slash uh, like other movie stuff. <laughs> I got Game of Thrones stuff coming and going and whatnot. So okay. So let me see how this looks on the screen there. This might be the first time I show my face on camera. Hey guys. Um, bad hair day, I guess. So, um, you can see that it doesn't fit into the detolf with the trident. Now, you can tilt the trident down, and that will fix that. Um, but I don't want to pose him like that, and I'm sure most of you don't either. So, I've got him with the Armored Batman, and I put that one on a bigger stand here. Well, I didn't want the stand that it came with, because it was way too big, and I'm obviously trying to um, manage the space a bit. Um, so I put them on an oval stand, the black oval stands, the generic ones, but they 
they don't really work either because his feet are so wide that he doesn't stand properly on the black oval stand. So I had to elevate him, which I'm not thrilled about. I do love these stands because, uh, you know, these are not regular down-to-earth superheroes like the Marvel guys. These are basically gods. And um, I like I like that they're on a pedestal, like literally. Um, having said that, it doesn't really fit, and I can't fit too many in there, like... So what we're talking about here is like, let's say Batman and Superman, and then let's say down here you have Aquaman and Flash. You need at least Wonder Woman. Shazam may or may not get made. Um, and then you want uh, a Green Lantern, but they're not going to have the same stands probably until another Justice League movie comes out, which might take like 10 years. Um, so it's not going to fit. It's not. They're not going to match. You're going to have them at varying heights, and uh, I don't like that kind of stuff. So, you know, I bought these... A bunch of black generic oval stands. So I'm going to put them on it right now. I just have to get it out. Bear with me for one moment. Um, I bought a pack on eBay for um, pretty cheap, I would say. And uh, some of you might be worried about the sunlight hitting my figures. I only opened the blinds because... Um, I was trying to see how it looks with natural light, but I actually have blackout curtains that I always put, so I don't have a problem with that. And the stand is ready. And I'm going to keep this, you know, I'm not going to throw it out, but I'm going to put it in a drawer somewhere where I'll probably never use it again, but I just, I like them a lot. And right now, I don't even know if I'm buying Flash, and I passed on the Justice League Wonder Woman. And so, um, you know, I don't have a Batman stand. I mean, I could try to get one off of eBay, but whatever. I think the Black Oval stands are the way to go, and this Batman will just have to be a bit elevated. Um, see, his legs don't stand too close to each other either. And that is kind of a problem. It seems like a DC figure problem, but... And he's not too secure because he has that giant crotch piece, which doesn't allow it to go. It doesn't, like, hold him securely, if you can see. So it's enough for, like, regular balance, but on an earthquake. Um, I've earthquake-proofed all, because I live in California, right next to Sideshow, actually. I've earthquake-proofed all of my figure, my detolfs, I should say. Oh, no, is this not going to fit? It barely clears my... Uh, Dio Deer Ikea lighting, however you say that. But at least the, the trident now touches the ground. That's pretty cool. Um, because, it, you know, it looks like he's holding it. The weight is on it now. Um, curious, this hand, I don't know if he's better off with a fist. I don't know. Let's, I guess we should try it, right? That's what the point of these videos are. But the reason I don't want the fist is because he's a king. And I know he's not in this movie, but whatever. Um, to hold, hold the fist, like, it's not as regal as... Like, that's like a hero pose. For a king, I like the relaxed hand. I think he would have looked better with the extended palm. Um, and you can't just swap out another extended palm because... Um, he has the gold parts on his fist, on his hand, so. I mean, he certainly looks tougher and more imposing. Yeah, that trident barely, I mean, it's barely visible. And it's actually like, it's touching both ends of the glass. Um, even on that oval stand. I think I'll leave them like this for now, but you guys got to let me know what you think. Um, maybe you would benefit from looking away. Nah, he was good the way he was. Maybe a tiny turn. Yeah. So I'm going to keep him there. And I'm going to bring Batman a little closer. I love this, this, I don't like Ben Affleck, and I don't, I didn't really like Batman vs Superman. The, the director's cut is a bit better, but, um, this suit, man, 
I love this suit. I didn't buy any other Batman suit. Um, down here, you can see I have uh, Zod, and uh, which is a great figure, and it's really cheap. You should pick it up if you can. Um, and the Batman vs Superman Man of Steel. I might try to grab that extra laser head off of eBay if I can. Um, I, you know, I just decided right now that I'm not going to go for the stands to make them all match because it's, it's just not going to fit. If you have one of those uh, hor long horizontal display cases where you can put all the figures next to each other and it's tall enough to fit the giant stand, um, or if, if it's an open display and you're going to put it on a desk or something and just dust them constantly, that could be worth it, but um, yeah. For me, it's going to be the black oval stands for sure. Um, and so the other question is the Flash. So if you guys heard the rumors, if you listen to my podcast, um, the Iron Coop fights movies with a couple of my friends, we go over like comic related movie news and we review all the new stuff. We just did X Men Dark Phoenix and we're going to do Jessica Jones next. Um, but the rumor is, which I reported on the podcast, the rumor is that Ezra Miller is potentially out. Not, he doesn't want to be out of the role, but he might be. <laughs> so, I like his design, but I don't know if I want to buy that figure because I only have room for like the one version. Batman, I can do many times, but the rest of them, um, like this Aquaman, I think he's here to stay. Even if this isn't the outfit that he ever wears again, I like this outfit. I like, I prefer this aesthetic. Um, the Wonder Woman figure was a letdown. So I'll wait for the new version and see if they fix the head a bit. Um, really just the head sculptor. But that Flash outfit, I like that it's rocket power, rocket materials. I forget what, what it was, but it looks homemade in that sense and sort of high tech at the same time with the wires and all that. The, they fixed the Ezra Miller sculpt a bit. It looks good. It looks like him under the mask. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of want the figure. And we're probably not going to get another one for a long time. And I would display him and him together. Right now I just have Superman and Zod because I, I, this isn't the final thing. But these two will be Justice League shelves and Zod might even go back in a box. I like him too much to sell him. But if he, if I don't, if he doesn't fit in the display, I mean I would sell him. But he's like, like I said, he's only going for like a hundred something dollars, like hundred ten or something. So it's almost not even worth it. I might as well keep it if I like it that much. But, um, yeah, I wish I, I wish I could make him match. He actually, strangely enough, is not that much taller than Aquaman, whereas he towers over Man of Steel. In fact, why don't we swap this out real quick? Bring this guy out here. Because Zod... Zod was meant to be paired with the Man of Steel version, which is a taller body. And then they kind of undid that for this version. It's quite a height difference there. I'm going to bring this closer for you guys. I don't like that his arm sticks out that much. I'm talking about Aquaman right now. Superman looks okay. So Aquaman is taller. This Henry Cavill seems maybe a little undersized here. And especially compared to that Batman. So that's one reason I actually wasn't planning on displaying him next to Batman. Mm, but it seems, you know, Aquaman and Flash had like a good relationship and... I just don't know. And then, let me see if I can fit Batman in here, in front of them. I mean, I, I will be able to, but. Oh, that's stupid. Kryptonian spear. So Batman is a bit, um, he's on an elevated stand here. And this is not obviously how I would display them ideally. Um, Batman would have to be in the back. Superman in front. But it would it's probably going to be Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. And then Aquaman and Flash. And uh, a Green Lantern if we ever get one. Assuming that they're going to share the same universe. Otherwise, I, I don't know. 
Maybe I won't buy Green Lantern. Maybe I'll buy, have to buy a new Aquaman and if it's a different guy. It seems like we might have to get a different Superman. And we are getting a new Batman, but I don't think it's connected. And for now, I love this suit way too much. <laughs> um, all right, I think that's all I have to say about this one. Um, other than to give you like a little peek. This is, so I bought five new Detolfs. Um, so I have some empty space here that I haven't quite decided what to do with. I have a notebook actually that has um, everything planned out in a way, but I, these spaces are not planned, and I'm sure that I'll need them. I did get Obi-Wan. I, If you saw my uh, previous video, um, I've, I'm doing a new series, which each month I cover the pre-orders and releases from Hot Toys, and so even ones I didn't necessarily buy. I was a bit behind on this last one, so I covered Obi-Wan there, but not as its own video. So I did buy him, but I covered him in that video. So it's like I think it should be the last video I uploaded, or... The last one might be the podcast for Dark Phoenix, and then it'll be the one before that. Um, and it has Captain America as the thumbnail. So I talked to him about him a bit there. The suit looks a bit puffy. You can see it here a bit. And uh, the sculpt is, you know, Obi-Wan's my favorite character, and, and this figure isn't, isn't the best that they've done. So I'm not totally thrilled about it. Um, having said that, I did just get this one, and I have not reviewed it because I just got it on a whim, and uh, she's pretty good. Like, she really looks good on the shelf. And I have these guys here. That That is the last Jedi sculpt, Luke sculpt, on the, uh, what was the, the Force Awakens uh, body, because I like that outfit. Um, you guys have probably seen this if you watch my other videos, and there's Han Solo behind him. So with her... Eventually, I'm going to put Chewbacca in there, and uh, this shelf will have Darth Maul, who just got released in Hong Kong, so that's happening soon. So Darth Maul will go there along with Qui-Gon, and if we can get a Phantom Menace Obi-Wan, that'll be sick. Um, they'll go in there. Chewbacca will be there with Leia, and um, got that shelf's basically done. I'm going to get Krennic, because Rogue One is my favorite movie, even though the General so figure is not one of my favorites. Um... I'm gonna start looking for a 1/6 scale Han Solo and uh, Carbonite. Is it, was it Carbonite? Jeez, what was the? I don't remember the word now. But um, you know, I really like that he's like frozen and behind him, and uh, I'm gonna leave him by himself for now. Haven't decided what else to pair him with. This shelf is pretty much done. I love the black and white aesthetic, um, and then these two are also pretty much done. I might change it to them fighting if I feel like it, but for now that's. So one thing about his pose here, if you've read the book, which is actually much better than uh, it's much better than the movie. The in the book, it describes Obi Wan in that fight against Dooku, like right before. It describes him like Anakin's more of like a not a brawler, but you know he fights more emotionally. But Obi Wan, at one point, it describes him standing straight up with square shoulders and his arms and his lightsaber down at his side. And he's like the epitome of what a Jedi is supposed to be. He's, uh, you know, and Jedi at that point are almost outdated in a way. Their way of life is almost outdated in the, their way of thinking. And um, he's like the stereotype Jedi. And the way they described him with his, with his shoulders squared and feet apart, like perfectly poised in his traditional fighting stance. And um, I tried to capture that, but the figure kind of let me down with its poofy clothes and the head sculpt and... Uh, the shoulders were, like wouldn't cooperate, and I don't know. So I, I might change the pose, but for now, that that's what it looks like. Um, this I'm going to keep like this for now. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I was considering a neo, and so these are my these are my blackout curtains. You can see it could get pretty dark in here, and I didn't close them perfectly, but this is what it normally looks like in here. Um, that DX is one of the best they ever made. That is probably my favorite figure of all time. Um, I just I just spread some of my figures out there, and I'm gonna collect a few Game of Thrones. Tywin Lannister is my favorite character. I know this turned into the collection video. I'm gonna do a real one later, but let me show you guys. Um, I was watching Hotel Hell on YouTube. I got a light switch put in by an electrician when I um, moved in, 
so that I could turn this on also on this side of the room. Um, yeah, this is my Marvel stuff. And the, like I, you know, the curtains open there, but usually there's no light source coming in like that. Um, I'll upgrade that Thanos eventually, but I'll go in more in depth with all these figures at some point. Check out my Instagram as I'm putting. Um, it's called the Iron Coop at the Iron Coop as I'm putting each figure up in on its own. Like I'm counting them over over to see how many I have. To be honest with you, um, I think I'm going to clear about a hundred, maybe, maybe maybe seventy. I'm not sure. Um, Okay, for now, I think this is going to be it. That's a wrap. Let's get Aquaman back to his normal position. Henry Cavill's so good to have a figure that's so kind of like bland, but maybe that's just Superman. I don't know. Don't worry about the dog. He's barking at nothing. And so we'll end it here on that image. All right, see you guys next time.